Hi, we're the Dry Campers and I'm Mike. I'm Leanna and we travel the country in our fifth wheel RV installing solar on RVs. Mike is obviously the guru in the solar area and I just follow along <laughs> and do what he tells me to do. No, not true, you'll no. see. <laughs> So in this week's video, we do part two of the Lux install. If you have not seen part one, please go back and, and watch that one first. It will make a whole lot more sense. And um, I will also put a link in here so that you can just click on it and watch part one. I overcame my fear of getting on the roof. I have some um, other ladders, and I don't do well with those. So he was really testing me out today on trying to get up there. It took me a whole, like, I don't know, 45 seconds to get it up. But it is what it is. And he did this because the whole um side all the sides are fiberglass so we can't put the ladder against it of course so he um to tie it on to the unit ladder rack just doesn't make me feel so comfortable So when you um, aren't paying attention to what you're doing and you're just doing it, you have to redo it. Um, so I was putting on the brackets for Mike just to try and help him out with the stuff. And I know better and totally don't know what I was doing. But anyway, um, I did all the brackets upside down. Well, not all of them, just some of them. And they're supposed to look like this. So, I'm having to redo them. If you're just joining our videos, the things that actually makes Mike kind of unique in the way that he does his installs and the reason that customers choose him is not only his experience in low voltage electricity, which is his background, so he completely and totally understands the systems. He also does very clean installs and he does stealth installs, which basically means that he's going to install the components in void spaces that the manufacturer did not use. So that means a lot of times that he'll do wire management or a lot of times it'll be, it might, it might even be like pipe uh, management in, in that sense to move certain things to where he's able to get a stealth install and not use any of your storage space and the majority of the time gains storage space for most of our clients. He also automates the entire system. That means that every outlet is going to work. It's not just this outlet or that outlet that you want to make work on the system. It's going to be every single outlet. 
obviously you have to practice management of your power and we will also do a video about that as well so that you can understand better about the power management but as long as you're power managing everything in your coach is going to work as you can see in some parts of this video it looks like I'm drilling into the side of the uh, solar panel because of the way that we had to squeeze these panels in not all of the brackets would line up properly so I'm doing custom brackets with um, pop rivets in the side so that way so that they're very firm and secure As you can see, I'm set up to wire the combiner box where you bring in all of your solar leads and you connect them to the wires going down into the coach. I use a DIN rail system to do all the interconnecting and um, you can see the little red fuse, it is fu fusible links, um, which I'm putting them in now. Um, but if you look at the wire gauge, it looks like it's larger than it should be and that's because it is. Uh, on every system that I design, I make sure that there's less than a 2% loss coming in from the roof or uh, interconnecting between the batteries and the multi-plus. Um, but the gauge here is 2 gauge from uh, the interconnecting all the way down to the MPPT. Um, all of the connecting in between the solar panels is done with an 8 gauge wire. Okay, so as you can see, we ended up with seven panels. They're 320 watts each. Um, the customer wanted to be able to stay out on his own as long as he possibly could uh, with only having water, the reason that he would be um, coming back in. Uh, he has two composting toilets to help him be conservative on water. 
Uh, he had just installed those a week or two before we had gotten there. Down in the bay, um, there's the shutoff switches. Um, we have 600 amps of batteries uh, behind that wall, as you'll see shortly. Um, we installed the MultiPlus up in behind all of uh, these, these couple of doors on this deck. It wasn't a terribly tight fit to get everything in there. Um, we did have to put the MultiPlus on its side. Uh, you can see all the fuses and circuit breakers in that one. Uh, this is a better shot on the MultiPlus. Um, we had to do a, just a tiny bit of wire management. Uh, the, the Lux, they do such a good job everywhere in the coach uh, of wire management and making sure that everything is buttoned down and neat and tidy. Um, and then here's the uh, the 600 amp battery cabinet and the um, two MPPTs, and they're both labeled accordingly as to which panels that the labeling goes all the way up onto the roof. So if you really like this install, smash the like button. <laughs> and subscribe to our channel please click the the bell so that you can be notified of all of our new releases and we release every friday so follow along on our adventure and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to contact us if you are looking for in, um, for solar so that we can do a consultation see you on the road yes so when you're not paying attention your training. That's what happened. <laughs> Let me try that again. Great, huh? Michael. This is like 19 minutes. And... Yeah. You gotta do it again? Yeah, over there. Aww. We totally just did this really cute session of like six different times and it didn't record. Come over here. Okay. Okay. Oh, Alright. Hi. I'm Mike with the drag camera. Yeah. Oh. Well, and click the little bell for notifications so that you can be notified of all of our um, so that you can be notified each time that we, that was the sure. Hmm. I didn't do it. Ah, sure, sure. But I missed it. So I won't try. <laughs> All right. But I'm actually thinking that we might do a little, he doesn't know about this yet. We might do a little, um, little midweek type of thing, be tweak as well, just a little it was always comedy with us. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and so, subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to contact us if you are looking for insight. So, when you're not paying attention to your training, that's what happened. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> 